No, Pesach in New Orleans. What are two Jews to do? What are you, half? Yeah, I'm a half. I'm half. You know, we can get the, 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 the subs at Verdi Mart. They got the, uh, you know, Dai Dainu. You know, it would have been enough. It was just the uh, the brisket on there. Right, right. But the, but they added shrimp, right? Dai Dainu. It would have been enough with just the shrimp. Right. And they had that uh, tasso uh, sauce. That Oaxaca type thing. Yeah, yeah they got like a little a chili, chili de arbol yeah, on that. Real that would have been enough, but it was all three combined, right? It's tough, you know. I try to get a kosher for Pesach Benyeh, and then they look at me like I'm an api chorus, you know. It's like, come on. Right, it's like, right. Hey, I'm just here for Jazz Fest. Right, you think, uh, you think uh, with uh, Jazz Fest falling on the first day of Passover, with all the Jews coming in from New York, that they'd have that figured out. Yeah, but, I didn't uh, want to raise a stink Oberlin style, if you know what I mean. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, you know, you start to expect things, you know. You're coming out sure, here. yeah. You know, you're so used to the New York thing where it's all tailored to your needs and everything. You come out to New Orleans, you kind of expect, you know, you expect something. And expectation is uh, is the root of all suffering. So, you know. Right, right. That's why. But it, we're having a good day, right? I mean, look. $20 for this uh, carriage ride, right? If it was just a carriage. Dianu. Dianu, right? It would have been enough. You say, we got these. Uh, well, then we got these guys over here, right? You know. Ross Finkel and his, uh, you know, his Cajun All Stars doing something here. I don't know what yeah, this what is. Are you the puppet guy and you talk for him or what? I mean, nobody said a word over here, right? Now, what do you got there? A balalaika? Is that a bazooki? Is it a? Is this an acoustic or what is this? An acoustic, electric? Looks like a. Like a fretted oud or something. Looks like they're doing right? a fretted oud thing or some type yeah. of. Yeah. Some kind of McLaughlin thin cello, right, yeah, some yeah. kind of weird. Kind of carved thin. out the the fretboard so he can bend or something. What yeah, I see. I see a cable. I think maybe they're going uh, a little too hip to uh, talk to these. Uh, you know, this Detroit yeah. City guy, a little too hip. Huh? Right, right. Uh, doing your thing down at the Avalon or whatever. Right. What, what is that there? Is it the, you oh, know, what? what? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that yeah, one right. club in yeah, Detroit, right? Right. It's good. right. It's good. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a great club. It's a good place. Yeah. But you know, a little too hip, you know, if you ask me. I mean, I look. Yeah, we was we was doing the Odeon back back when before. You know, well, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. You want to talk about the Odeon? That's a long it's time all ago. Ohio to me, you know. Right, right. Listen, I think these guys are going, you know, because I can't hear anything. There's no amplification. Spit up there? I think they're doing a spit up thing or maybe even like an optical. What's your A to D up there? I don't want to do any, I just, I don't want any A to D that's, you know, some. You know, I called Jeff Leibovich over at Vintage King, right? Right. I needed to get him, he got me an Antelope 32 channel wow. AD How's converter. The conversion on that? It's phenomenal. It's good. Better than Apogee, right? Hey. Hey, uh, uh, as good, as good if not, okay? Yeah, I don't want to blind test it here. We got I mean, Ted Williams look, over here, you know. Listen, whatever. you're talking the, to... The, uh, you know, what are you doing, sound design in Hans Zimmer's, Hans Zimmer's booty? How can you hear that? You can't hear that. I can hear that, I'll tell you uh, what. You're doing psychology. You, no, you like wanna, the look of it. You want to talk about Ted you're Williams? You're mixing with your eyes, not oh, yeah? your ears. Yeah, oh, yeah, you want to talk say. about Ted Williams? Yeah, that's listen, what I want to talk about. They get the scientists in there, they say, how do you hit a baseball, right? He says, I see the ball hit the bat, right? And then these science guys come in and say, oh, there's no way to do that. The human eye can't actually calculate it. You're going to believe some guy in a lab? You're going to believe the greatest hitter of all time, huh? Well, I'm just saying, the day, the day you do a, you, you double blind. The day I can the, hear the day you double a to blind D conversion. 48K, 24 bit, this antelope versus apogee, and you, right. you get it right, all right, then I'll buy your antelope, okay? All right. I want to get it. All right, let's not get into it. Point these is, guys, these ahead. guys have been playing one chord for the last five minutes or something, right? You guys know any tunes? Huh? Hey, you know what they songs? say in Klezma? D minor, it's not a key, it's a living, okay? Right. Maybe you could uh, do a little, I don't know. I'd like He's to hear got some... nice changes these days. Well, look, you know, we paid $20 for the ride. Like I said, if it was just a ride with the horses, would have been enough. Diana, but there's a little Diana, music here. I want to hear a little, little want to hear a little, little bit of music. Something I can sing along to. You know I'm a singer. Yeah, do I a mean, little. Been... This guy's a great singer. Hey, this guy's a great singer. Hey, listen. Come on. You guys know any, uh, any, uh, any New Orleans music? Like, how about a little bit of that, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, stuff, right? Huh? 
something real authentic from I heard, the bayou. I heard, Let's hear it. I heard Treme doing a cover of uh, Down Call on the me, Corner, the right? Market. Out in the street, uh, Willie and the poor boy, they're playing Tap Your Feet, right? Let's hear it. Let's hear something like that. How about a little uh, rolling on a river? What do you think, guys? Big wheels keep on turning. Oh, Proud Mary you know. keep on burning. I'll tell you a musical genius. Justin Vernon. J.S. Botch, you know, huh? Botch was not bad. Botch played a game, uh, yeah, he invented that game with a huh? ball, right? Bach would roll up and just tear the roof off. Imagine that guy had a wah-wah pedal. Huh? Or a clavinet. Or a talk, a talk box. I ain't know. He didn't have velocity. It was enough for him. That's true. That's true. Playing a clav clavichord or something. That's true. That's true. Bach was, uh, had no velocity. He was, there was no MIDI back then. There was no... Uh, there was no spit if. There was no spit if. You had the, you had the no right... Avium, no avium units, ethernet. In fact... You know what? Cut it on the one. You want to cut on one? Two, three, All right. four. Hit it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my gosh. Like... That was good. That was good. That was good. You good?